Hello everyone! <laughs> Bob says hi. It's Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We are on night one of our seven nights of live crafts. I don't have my glasses on, I feel weird, but I think I'm gonna go with it. All right, so how's everybody doing? I'm excited to be here. We're going live seven nights in a row just for funs and calls. Oh, what is up? Happy Friday. We've made it. We've made it not only to the weekend, but to a long weekend. I am very excited. Oh, I know it's not a long weekend for everyone, but hopefully for lots of you it is. And hopefully this isn't skipping too much. Um, oh, I need to shut my volume off so I can say hi. Say hey when you're hopping on. I'm Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We are, again, doing night one of our seven nights of live crafting. I feel like it's, you know, like seven nights of Halloween or Christmas or right, right? It's like one of those kind of things. So we're going to paint this stacked pumpkin door hanger. It's it's rather large. Um, I don't know how large it is. It doesn't, doesn't, oh yes, it does. It's 20 inches long. It's 20 inches tall. So this is door hanger size. Definitely. Um, love this. I got it from Joanne's last year. Um, it was six bucks, but I think I got it 80% off. So this was a steal and we're going to paint it this season. I'm a big fan of getting things. I'm freezing and skipping. Does anybody else see me freezing and skipping? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Um, let me know if I'm freezing and skipping, okay? Um, Bob, any chance you could like, in a second, just check it on your phone to see if I'm freezing and skipping? <laughs> Bob said it looks like I'm sitting and talking. <laughs> oh, but all right. So we're going to get this going. We're trying to figure out if I'm freezing and skipping. Drop some comments um, if you see me freezing and skipping just so that I know and I can maybe start over. Um, but all right. So we're going to paint this stacked pumpkin. I cut this off. So a while back, my dad got me this little tray from Harbor Freight. And it's for like nuts and bolts and stuff so that you don't lose it. Okay, Bob said we're we're not freezing and skipping, so hopefully it continues like that. So this is for like your nuts and bolts and nails and all that stuff so it doesn't, you don't lose it and then you can just pour it right out of the spout. Well, I'm gonna use it for my trash. Hello, I don't know why I haven't. So my thought with this is I'm gonna paint each pumpkin a different color um, and I'm gonna do my best. I mean, I'm not, I'm not working for me. Oh, I'm sorry, mom. How's it working for everybody else? Let me know. Um, so my thought is we're going to paint each pumpkin a different color, maybe some non-traditional pumpkin colors, but still really cute. And then I've got some fabulous ribbon. We're going to make a really nice big bow out of like, how gorgeous is this ribbon? We've got, oops, it is. So we've got some Buffalo check ribbon, um, and then just some pretty orange and gold ribbon. So we're going to use all of that tonight. I have a new bow maker we're going to use because Lord knows I can't do it myself. So Nothing too fancy with the crafting tonight, more just painting and then a, a nice big bow, but still fun to start off our seven nights of crafting with this nice stacked pumpkin fall craft. So let me know you're watching. Say hello when you hop on. Um, Facebook is not letting me see again, which is annoying as all hokey pokey. Um, but I'm just trying to see if I'm... Um, yeah, I can't see them. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can start to see them now. Yay. So hopefully more people will show up on my phone that I can see it. All right, so here we go. So in terms of colors, we're going to use um, this blue cotton for one of the pumpkins. I'm thinking I want to use a green and I want to use an apricot. I love this apricot. Um, that's what it's called, this apricot color from Apple Barrel. I store all my paints upside down. And then I really want a green. What do I have for greens? don't want Kelly green. I have like an English, yeah, this like English ivy green. I like this. So these are my three pumpkin colors. Okay, what do we think? Do we like the three pumpkin colors? Um, and just want to make sure I did everything correctly. All right, we're good to go. All right, so we're going to use those three colors. And then I'm thinking we're going to use some antique wax with them. Oh my gosh, guys, I've used so much antique wax already. I mean, I got it a while ago, but I didn't realize how much I used, but I'm excited. Um, okay, I went back out. Oh, good. I'm all, that's glad, I'm glad to hear that, Mom. I'm glad it's not skipping anymore. All right, so um, let's start with, ooh, that paintbrush could have seen better days. We're going to start with um, the top pumpkin just so we can work our way down so we don't hit our arm on it, right? And let me get the, so we're not going to use a ton of heat gun like throughout. It's going to be more of an end process because I want to do, 
um, some painting where, um, where, what do I want to do? I want to do some painting where we paint while it's still wet and we do some like shading and different things while it's still wet. So I think that'll be pretty. Okay. So we're going to start with, let's see, what color do I like the best? I think we'll keep traditional. We'll keep the big, the biggest of the three pumpkins, the, the orange. And I think I'm going to do the blue cotton, the green, and then the orange. Um, so yes, this is blue cotton by Apple Barrel. So I just have a plate. Um, and we're going to paint these bad boys. I think this is going to be really pretty. And again, like I said, we're not doing um, totally traditional pumpkin colors, but that's okay. So I'm going to bring this down so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So we're down. There we go. You can see now. So I'm just going to paint. Um, can you see what I'm doing? Yes. This is so weird. I feel like my, I'll have to fix it for tomorrow. Um, I also like to do like the close up ones where it's like in front of me, but this one I just figured it was so big. So um, I'm even gonna paint the top stem. I'm gonna paint the blue cotton, um, but I'm going to then put like a little extra um, of the wax on it. I didn't mean to get that in the middle, but it happened. I'm not gonna worry about painting on the insides of all of these creases. I mean, the paint just kind of fell in there. Um, so that's fine. I'm putting a darker color underneath this, so I'm not really worrying about getting underneath too much. Plus this is all rustic, right? And we, you know how much I love rustic. So we're not going to worry too much. This has a cute little hanger that we're going to try not to get blue paint on. <laughs> um, so we're just going to paint this blue really fast and I'm not going to do a second coat. We're just going to do the one coat and then we're going to do some shading and some, I shouldn't say shading, but more like just so it's not stark blue. So while this is still wet, okay, while this is still wet, wow, I took out way too much paint, but we know my trick for getting that back in. While this is still wet, we're gonna take, um, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this wax out just so that I don't stick a dirty brush in there. Um, and then I'm just gonna get that going. All right, so now while, as I stick my hand in the wet paint, um, now, while this blue is still wet, we're going to take some of the antique wax. I'm going to take some and dab it on the paper towel and then just kind of like, just make, follow the lines of the pumpkin, right? Just follow the lines of the pumpkin and up towards this top here where the stem is, I'm going to do a lot more of it and kind of like blend it into the, blend it into the pumpkin a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is take my blue paintbrush again and just kind of blend this in some more so it's not as stark just to make it look a little nicer. So what's up with everybody? How is your week? Are you excited for the long weekend? Do you have any plans for the long weekend? Let me know. All right. We are having a yard sale tomorrow. I'm very excited about the yard sale. I don't know why I'm so excited about a yard sale. Bob's like, who wants to have a yard sale? Like, I'm really excited about it, and it's kind of weird, but I don't know. I'm going to try to um, put out some of the craft stuff, too, so I think that will be fun. Hopefully, you can get some exposure with that. All right. All right, so there's one pumpkin done. Pretty pumpkin, huh? I like that one. All right, really quickly, I'm going to dry this. I'm going to dry my surface. Oh, I got this all over the desk. Oops, a doodles. Make sure that if you're loving this, please sprinkle it out on your page and make sure that you say hey when you're hopping on. All right, so I'm just drying my surface and then I'm gonna dry this and then we'll move on to our next pumpkin. Whew. So yeah, we're having a yard sale tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. Bob thinks I'm weird, but I'm very excited about it. What? I'm so excited. Bob said he's so excited about the, the yard sale too. <laughs> All right, so that's all dry, excellente. We're also gonna put a big old bow on the top of this, so if that stem's not perfect, it's okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle, thanks, Mom. <laughs> all right, we'll wash the brushes later, is what I've decided. We're gonna use that one again. All right, so next color is this. I've never used this, English Ivy Green from Apple Barrel. It's really a pretty, I hope it's a pretty green. It looks like a pretty green. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. With this one, I think we're gonna do some 
contouring, if you will, with white. So I'm just going to get that out and ready now. The only problem, I love storing my paints upside down now because um, it makes sure that the paint is always readily available at the bottom. However, when I open them, I always get paint on me. <laughs> struggles. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Okay, let's paint the green now. All right. At least I just washed these paint brushes a little bit ago and I can feel them still wet. Ooh. All right, so I'm just gonna try to follow like, so the, the um, if you can see, the pumpkin kind of has like a little, there's a little um, indent here that kind of tells you where to paint. So I'm gonna follow that somewhat, at least the best that I can. It's okay if it's not perfect, right? This is rustic. So how's everybody doing? I We're doing very well. Um, like I said, we're having a yard sale tomorrow. And what else? We're not doing much else this weekend. Is anybody doing anything cool for the Columbus Day weekend? Um, or, yeah, the Columbus Day weekend? We're, we're laying low. Um, last year we went away Columbus Day weekend. But we just did like a local trip because it was, you know, still still COVID and trying to be careful and everything. And we hadn't gone on a different, we hadn't gone on another vacation. So we did like a quick little weekend away thing. And that was really fun. So I was saying to Bob today, I'm like, I feel like we should be going away this weekend. Because <laughs> we did last year. Um, but of course, you know, it's a busy weekend to go away, especially in non-COVID times. Um, even though we're still kind of like in COVID. So, so you were skipping and freezing on me again. Oh no, mom. Hi, Krista. How are you? Krista, thank you for saying that. Um, I, I'm glad that it looks okay. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about like going, you know, seeing if we could go away. And um, we love to go to um, New Hampshire. We love to go to like the North Conway area. And so I was just looking just for fun, just to see. There was like nothing available at all. And then I remembered, because again, like not that COVID's over, but you know, things are more open than they used to be. Um, so I was, I forgot that like the Freiburg Fair is this weekend, I think, right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. In Freiburg, Maine, used to go to that when I was a kid all the time. Does anybody else like going to fairs? Um, we used to go, it's the kind that has like, it's kind of like the Washington County Fair, but bigger. Um, for those of you who are local, we um, used to love watching like the tractor pulls, you get a booming onion. That's all about the food, right? Like we do all things for food, honestly. I um, We went out to dinner tonight to this place up the road from us that we had a gift certificate to. And um, I can't believe, I just said gift certificate. How many people say gift certificate anymore, right? It's all gift cards. Although this one was an actual certificate. It was a piece of paper, so I said that right. <laughs> Making fun of myself and it was accurate. Um, but so we went out to dinner and, um, and what was I gonna say? Oh no, I lost my train of thought. Oh, and the, there was golf on, on the TVs that were around us. And, you know, so we were watching it, like, not actually intently. And um, just make, trying to make this a little wet, wetter so that it blends better when we do the, the white paint with it. Um, and so we said to the waitress as a joke, like, this is not this golfer's day, right? Even though we have, like, no idea what's going on. Um, and she's like, oh, I don't really watch. I can't watch golf. It's too boring and yada, yada. And she's like, and just like baseball, I really can't watch that. And I was like, listen... I go to baseball games for the food. Just somebody like drop some hearts, comments, whatever, if you agree with me. Baseball games are for the food. Um, not that I don't like baseball. I'm not knocking baseball. I promise. How beautiful is this green color? I just can't even with it right now. So again, keeping this paintbrush wet. Ah, oh man, I just, I wiped the white paint off on the paper towel. And then I missed a spot on the other side. Oh, thanks mom. Jeez. I'm glad y'all can see this. This is why I need to wear my glasses. I just didn't feel like wearing them. I've been wearing them all day. Oh, you want to know why? There's like a crack in the wood. That's why. So it didn't get in there. Thank you for that. All right. So that's still pretty, it's still wet. So we're going to grab some white paint and then dab it off. And then just grab some white paint, dab it off. And just do some, I don't know, just do some like, Again, follow the line of the, the pumpkin, of the shape of the pumpkin, right? That's a good place to start. 
Oh, that makes me think of the sound of music, right? Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. When you sing, you begin with do, re, mi, right? Anybody else know that one? <laughs> I love the sound of music. I was in the sound of music once. I was a postulant, which if anybody doesn't know what that is, that is a nun in training, essentially. All right. Well, this looks pretty. All right, now I'm going to grab my green. You probably already said it, but where did you? Oh, Krista, yes. So I did say it, but that's totally fine. Um, this is from Joanne's last year. So um, end of the year, end of the season sale. It was only, first of all, I don't know if anybody else thinks this, and I'm not knocking Joanne's and Michael's because Lord knows I spend the majority of my salary there. Um, but I find their, some of their wood stuff to be expensive although their unfinished wood stuff is not that bad and it's usually on sale most of the season however so this was only six dollars originally and i got it like 80 percent off after the season and i've been saving it to paint it i'm so excited and once um it was bob's idea to do the seven nights of crafting which i'm very excited about um and once we figured that out today i was like or yesterday whatever i was like that's a, this is a great excuse to paint this let's get this pumpkin going what do you think so far we've got a blue pumpkin and a green pumpkin totally not traditional we're gonna get a nice orange pumpkin going next but what do you think so far so yeah so this is from joanne fabric i will tell you um joanne fabrics does have a nice selection of unfinished wood um i get quite a bit there the what i find with that is it's um thank you krista i know really good deal huh um, most of the, I, I think they have great unfinished wood selection. Um, I, I do, I really do. Um, just sometimes I find it like really themed, um, and like too much to paint in like this, right? This is just one big thing to paint. Like there's not lots of little details to paint. And I find that a lot of the stuff they have, have a lot of details, which is great. I'm just not that good at painting. Um, I'm just going to paint this stem again a little more. Um, so that's my only quandary with some of the stuff from, um, even Michael's sometimes. I'm just putting a little bit more of the brown and I just brought it down a little. So it's a little bit more of a stem. I like that better. What do you think? I do like that better. I'm just going to dry that up and then we'll paint the orange pumpkin. And technically it's apricot. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna make a super big, nice, fluffy bow on our new bow maker. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited to paint this. I've been I've been wanting to paint this for like a, a year, right? Because I got it last the end of so I got it in like Christmas time. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna wash all my paintbrushes at the end. Um, okay, so I need one more brush to paint with. Here's a brush to paint with. And then I think I'm going to use the brown again for the apricot. So here's the apricot. I love this color. It's not that stark jack-o'-lantern yellow, orange, whatever. I can't speak. It was a week. And you know what really worries me is usually short weeks are really difficult. Um, like I feel like the hardest weeks to get through are always those four-day weeks. And yet like the week leading up to this upcoming four day week was a week. So I'm like, oh gosh, next week is not gonna be good. Or maybe it's a great omen that next week's gonna be awesome. Can an omen be good, a great omen as opposed to a bad omen? Can an omen be good? Someone tell me, I don't even know. All right, so um, just wanna double check with everybody that we're still not freezing and not skipping and doing not cool things. All right, so now we're going to, so just drop some comments, let me know. All right, so now we're gonna paint our apricot. And again, I'm just gonna do my best to follow the lines. I mean, the green kind of, it's gonna bleed through a little bit um, where I overpainted, but that's okay because it's rustic and wonderful. Whew. I just think about how did I get on talking about, talking about the sound of music. <laughs> I get so like off topic with this, oh my gosh. But yeah, so we don't really have any big plans for the weekend. I know I say we, we, I would love to go away, but this is just such a busy week to go weekend to go away. Um, there's some things happening around here though. I forgot to tell Bob when we were at dinner. I found this thing, and I feel like I've heard of it before, but there's like an an autumn fest up um, in northern Rhode Island this weekend. Um, 
And I heard it's okay. I mean, not like, I don't know. So, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes it's nice to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, I have Monday off, and I'm, I'm just going to, like, do nothing. And by nothing, I really mean, like, I'm going to do all the things around the house that I never get done. Or, like, the things on, like, my to-do list that I've been wanting to do and never get done. But I'm going to stay in the house in my pajamas and do it. So, you know, that's always a win. <laughs> Bob said him, too. Bob stays in his pajamas every day because he works from home, lucky bugger. Lucky little bugger. Although I have to tell you, I, um, there are some times that I work from home, um, but my job really kind of, requ not requires, but, um, what I do kind of works better if I'm in person. Um, but sometimes I can work from home and I don't know if I could do it all the time. I mean, I work really hard to try to stay disciplined, um, but I'm not sure I could do it all the time. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I could. I think I could because I will tell you, I didn't think that I could. And then COVID happened and we all had to, and I did it. So I guess I can, I guess I can. I guess I'm just out of practice from doing it every day like we used to. You know what I'm saying? I just love these colors together. Wait till you see, wait till you see how these three, I know it's like impossible to see all three at the same time, but oh my gosh, what pretty colors these are. Let me know how you like it. Are you working from home? Are you um, in the office again or in the school again, wherever you work? Um, do you like working home? Do you ra would you rather be in the office? Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Tell me all the things, everybody. Okay. So, there's the orange, all nice and painted. I want it to be a little bit wetter, so I'm just going to add a second coat. Plus, I'd like it to be a little bit more opaque. All right. So I'm just adding a little bit more paint to this, so that way when we blend in, I'm going to use the um, antique wax, I think, on this one. And I might even, you know, I might even throw in some white. I don't know. I could do like both. Um, but I'm just adding a little bit more paint so that it's a little bit wetter when we blend it all. Because you want the paint to be wet when you're doing this. And I didn't like come up with this or anything. I see lots of other crafters doing these kinds of techniques. So I thought I'd try it myself and I guess I can actually do it, which is cool, I guess. I didn't know if I could or not. All right, so I'm just going to grab that same paintbrush from the antique wax before. And then I'm just going to dab it off. And just, again, we're following the shape of the pumpkin. And I'm just putting some big dashes in this one, going down that middle section. And then we're going to just go down this section, go down this section, go down kind of across the bottom, across the top a little. And then we're going to grab the paintbrush that we painted with the orange and go back and blend it in. All right, so it doesn't look as quite like the stark, stark lines. It looks more like just a, a natural pumpkin. Oh, this looks pretty. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit more orange paint on my brush just to blend it in a little bit better. It's getting a little dry. Whew, all right. There we go. Oh, this looks cool. I like this. I'm just going to add that there. All right. Let me show you guys so you can see what it looks like. I like this a lot. I can hear the wrestling. Bob's watching wrestling. I'm gonna watch that later. Look at how pretty that looks. What do you think? I adore this. Oh my gosh, I like it so much, I don't know if I wanna put a bow on it. Oh, I don't know. We'll make the bow and then we'll see. I guess, I don't know. Oh, I like this so much, I don't wanna put a bow on it. What does everybody think? All right, I'm gonna dry the bottom. Just so that is done. And then we can make a big bow on our new bow maker. I'm very excited. If you're watching this on the replay, make sure that you say hello and hashtag replay. Um, if you're just hopping on, as I see lots of people, thank you. Thank you guys. Um, if you're just hopping on, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing night one of seven nights of live crafting, all right? I'm just drying up our bottom pumpkin. I know I like it without the bow, but I really wanted to make a bow tonight. So I'll sh we'll make a bow, and then we'll see what we where we go from there. How about that? All right. So let me show that one more time now that it's all dry. That looks so pretty. All right, so nice job, pumpkins. 
You look pretty. I'm gonna put my paints away. I'm so glad I finally used that English Ivy Green. I've been dying to use it. It's such a great fall color. I need to, um, you know what though? It's gonna be a great St. Patrick's Day, like rustic St. Patrick's Day color too. So we're gonna have to use it then also. I'm very excited. Okay, so now painting stuff is gonna go away. We don't need it anymore. So we're gonna move that. We're gonna move, oh my gosh, I keep getting paint on me. Um, we're gonna move our brushes that I will clean later. And I'm gonna move our surface, this little, my little silicone pad thing here that I have. And we're gonna unplug our heat gun because we're not gonna need that anymore. And we're gonna plug in our glue gun because we're gonna need that to glue it on, all right? Yeah, I know, I know, I, I love it the way it is, but I I wanna see what it looks like with the, with the bulb. We might, we, you know, we'll hold it up to it, see what we think, and then we'll go from there. Plus, I wanna show you guys this new bow maker that I have, okay? So I'm gonna set this aside, right? This is what we're working with right now, okay? We just painted this. And now, I'm gonna set that down. I just need probably a zip tie, whoopsies. I need something to tie our bow together. Probably a zip tie. Forgot to take that out. My sugar nut, as my mama would say. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? I can't find what I need. This is not good when we're live, guys. We need to find what we need quickly so that we don't keep people waiting. All right, here we go. Let me just grab a couple just in case something happens. Right, an extra for good measure. See, and you know what's funny? I get these, when I get these like big wood cutouts, I get nervous about painting them because they're big and daunting. And I also like, what if I don't like it? And you know, it's so big and I just wasted it. I don't know. So, I mean, I guess you can always repaint it, right? Um, but this makes me feel better because I really like how this came out. And I have this other like really big welcome one that I need to do. It's probably this wide, the welcome. Um, and I need to do that. I've had it for quite some time. So now I feel a little bit better about doing that. Okay, you know what? We're gonna throw all the paint brushes in here. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna save that water for whatever project we do tomorrow night, right? Because this is every night. Um, and I, in the, I will post, um, those little words you got from the Dollar Tree would be cute on, oh, that would be cute. What a nice idea that would be to put like the blessed, um, and like a hello autumn and something else. Oh, that would be a really cute idea. I like, that's a great idea. All right. So here we go. I've got a bow maker. This is a bow maker. Okay. This is not the Easy Bow Maker, which I think is the name brand one. This is one that I got on Amazon. It's the Acatree. <laughs> Acatree Create Amazing Bows with Acatree Bow Maker Tool. It has like a little step by step on the back. I also feel like I watch enough videos that I know how to use one of these things. So there's a bunch of different ways you can use it, but it has a ruler on it so that you can measure like how far over your ribbon goes on either side. And these two middle things can move um, and they hold kind of your ribbon in place for you. But if you wanted to make a bow that just like wrapped around, you wanted, let's say you wanted to make like a six inch bow that just, you know, was just two loops, right? And with two tails, you could put them each at three, right? Cause that would be six inches. And you would just like wrap your yarn around and then, you know, boom, done. And you've got yourself a bow, right? So it's just nice because it makes things more standard for you. Um, but so I'm going to use it for the big like back and forth kind of bow that I can't do with my hands. Um, so we're going to use this really beautiful ribbon with the pumpkins. We're going to use the buffalo check. Um, and then possibly we're going to use this, but I'm not sure. Okay, so you need a lot of ribbon for this. This is Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna unwind a ton just to start, okay? And then I'm just gonna stack this in here. You just put it right in, okay? So here, I'll show you. We'll do this together here. So we're just gonna put it in and kind of squish it. Whoops, let's get that guy in there. Kind of squish it, okay? So this is the end. I started it upside down because of the way the pattern on the ribbon goes, so you'll kind of figure out your ribbon needs to go a certain way. So as we're gonna bend this over now, I'm gonna do, I think an eight inch bow. So we'll do four inches to start on either side, right? So the way you do that is you just make sure that your loop goes to the four inches, right? So half and half, um, which is again, nice that it has this built in 
ruler. Now, because my pattern, actually, I'm going to go a little bit bigger than four inches, I think, like maybe four and a half. Um, so because my pattern is only on one side of this ribbon, I have to twist the ribbon when it comes to the other side. So that way, when I flip it back over, the pattern is in the right on the right side. Now this pattern will be upside down for this loop, but that's okay. It is what it is. All right, so now, but see again, like it's holding the, it's holding it in place for me so I can work with my loops and it, and it works. So, all right, so now, again, we want like four and a half. So I'm just gonna stick this in here, right? Four and a half-ish, so that's about there. And I'm gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna twist again because we need this to come back on the right side. I think I'm gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna do five loops of each. One, two, th this is three. Five loops of each ribbon, yeah. And so this ribbon, I'm all gonna make the four and a half. And then when I put the next size ribbon on, um, I'm gonna make it a little um, smaller, shorter, right? Sh smaller loops. Alrighty. This ribbon is getting all tangled. All right, and then stick this one back in, make it the same length as that. All righty, and then I'm just gonna do one more. I like the odd, odd number loops work better with bows. So, all right, last one, and then we'll cut it. All righty, I feel like I keep trying to hold it, but I don't need to hold it. It holds it in place for me. It's very cool like that. Okay, so that's our last loop of the truck and pumpkin ribbon and that's going to be the four and a half so it's technically like a oops so it's technically a nine inch bow i wonder if nine inches is going to be too big for this pumpkin hanger i don't know possibly all right and then i'm just going to cut it i have scissors here somewhere and then i'm just going to cut it all right and then we'll move on to our uh, and we still have plenty of ribbon left here and to be honest, if this doesn't work, I'll just take it apart and use the ribbon for something else. Waste not, want not, my friends. All right, and then I see more friends hopping on. So hi, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing our night one of seven nights of crafting. Um, and so we're just making a bow for this really cute pumpkin hanger, that door hanger that we just painted. Isn't this adorable? I love the way this came out. I'm probably gonna cover it, but we'll see. We'll see if we actually use the bow. If we don't use the bow on this, I may use the bow on something else. Again, I'm just gonna unwind this a little just so that it's kind of ready to go. And so this bow, now we don't have to twist anything with this one because it's the same on both sides. So that's always nice when you get ribbon like that. So we're gonna make a smaller bow this time. So we're just gonna stick this back in. All right, we just don't want it to bend. And also when you're making ribbons, uh, bows like this, you would want to use ribbon that has wire in it, okay? So we're gonna do, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller than the other one. So that way it's kind of like a stacked look. It'll look nice, it'll fill the bow out nicely. All right, and then I'm just gonna come back. Because again, we don't have to twist because it's the same pattern on both sides. So that's super convenient when that happens. All righty, and we're gonna do five loops again, okay? That way it is uneven and that looks better because then you have something to put like in the middle and on the top and Bob, Bob going downstairs? Yes, have fun to close. Thanks, I'll be done soon. Walk out. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna come back. I think we're watching a combination of wrestling and the baseball game. You know what I'm saying? All right, okay, and then we're gonna come back and then we'll do one more and then we'll be all done. Alrighty, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna add the other ribbon. And I don't think I'm gonna add tails either. I think we're just gonna stick with um, what we've got. Okay, so we're adding in the fifth. And actually this fifth one could be a small one that we kind of like put over, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just having fun with this. I've never done this before. Huh. Isn't that kind of funny? Well, I mean, I tried making the bow earlier, but I've never actually, um, so I knew how to do it, but I've never actually completed this to see if it comes out nice. And again, this is also Dollar Tree ribbon, so can't, can't beat it, everybody. Cannot beat it. 
Oh, so have you guys seen those um, uh, candy cane wreath forms from the Dollar Tree? Because I went to a Dollar Tree today. So I have tons of the big ones. I went to a Dollar Tree today and I saw a mini one. So I got one. <laughs> we might do one of those this week um, because I want to do, we're going to do Halloween. We're going to do fall. This is fall. We're going to do some Halloween stuff. We're going to do some Christmas stuff <clears throat> because I don't think it's ever too early to start Christmas stuff. All right. So now our bow is complete in here all folded and everything. So now we pick it up and take it out. Okay. Don't let it come apart. All right. I know it was holding it together for us, but we also can't let it come apart now. And then I'm just going to take a zip tie because that holds it together the best. And this is a big zip tie because it's a big bow. Make sure you put it in the middle. All right. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, turn it around. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's see how my first bow on a bow maker came out. I don't know. We we'll have to see here. We got some. We got some tails. We got some tails. Now I, there is a kind of bow that you don't need a bow maker. That you just kind of do loops with lots of tails. And I have wanted to try that. So I'm going to try one of those sometime too. But um, all right, gonna kind of pull these around, zhuzh this around. All right. Yeah, I've never I've never made bows like this before. They've never been my thing. I've never been good at it. Never thought they've come out well. So hopefully with a bow maker, they'll come out well. I don't know. All right. I don't even know if I like this right now. But I love the ribbon though. It's really pretty. It's just this Buffalo check is not as um, malleable and staying in its right place as the other one. So it looks a little wrinkled, which is a little annoying, but it's cute. Okay. Oh, I don't hate this. I don't hate this, guys. Again, I'm just zhuzhing putting everything in its place. I'm bringing these tails around because we can. Bring some of these other pieces up. Bring some of them down, make it a more full ribbon, more full bow, I should say. All right, what do y'all think? Guys, we made a bow. I made a real bow. I've never made this before. I'm so excited. What do you think? How do you like that? You like that bow? I'm going to put that up there. You like this bow? Should we see what it looks like on the, on the hanger? <clears throat> so it would look... Ugh, it would look... Essentially like this. What do we think? Should we add it on? I kind of like it. I know it blocks a lot of the blue pumpkin, but um, I like the way the I like the way it looks with the um, the green and the orange pumpkin. I think it just gives a little panache. Vertigo, lovely. What does everybody think? Should we add the bow on? I kind of like it. Kind of like the pumpkin on pumpkin and the truck and the, I think that'll be cute. We're going to add it as like a little final touch. All right. Let me snip the back of this off. All righty. And then I'm going to figure out how to glue this on. All right. Get everybody puffed and lovely. Figure out how to glue this on. It's funny because I think it's usually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use a pipe cleaner or a twisty. I have twisties, hold on. My The bow maker came with twisties. So we're gonna use a twisty and we're just gonna twist it onto the pumpkin. That way, if we wanna take it off, we can. So I'm gonna take a gold twisty of course, I picked the one that's twisted around all of them. 
Okay, we're gonna take a gold twisty, okay? And I'm gonna somehow find the center of this bow in here somewhere. I've zhuzhed it so much I've lost the center. Okay, there we go, good enough I think, possibly. All right, and then, so you can't even see it because it's so zhuzhed, right? Oh, I like that. So see, I made one of the loops kind of a middle loop. I like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna twist it. I'm gonna go right in between these two right here, okay? So let's do that. Oh, so in that case, I wanna do it this way. Okay, please hold. In that case, we need to come at it at a different angle. Oh no, no we don't, no we don't, no we don't. Oh, Bethany, what did you do? I do, Smeal, I'm making everything complicated. And then we're gonna finish this and this will be done. And everybody's gonna be like, thank God this is done, right? Thank you so much, Krista, it's my, my first bow like this. I'm very excited about it. All right, so I'm just gonna twist it around once so that my twisty is going in the direction I want. There we go. It's a twisty and I didn't process that it was a twisty. Okay, even though I've said twisty how many times, right? Okay, so again, we're just gonna go in through these two and we're gonna twist the bow the way we want it. Okay, yeah, this works. And now again, you can take it off anytime you want if you just want the hanger or whatever because it's just twisted on. Oh, this is much better than gluing it on anyway because I wouldn't even have known how to glue this on. It's too much to glue on. Okay. Let me just judge it one more time. Make sure it's turned the way we want it. Right? Let's get these loops going. It is kind of funny that some of these, um, some of the trucks are upside down. <laughs> but it's fine. All right. What do we think? The finished product. We've got a nice door hanger with a new bow, with our new bow maker. How do we like it? I'm excited about it. All right. So there, yep, see there's the bow. You can see it a little bit more up close. Sideways. I love these colors. So this might be going, might be going on my door. I don't know. We'll have to see. But anywho, so this was, thank you very much. This was night one of our seven nights of crafting. Um, of live crafting, I should say. So make sure you join us tomorrow night. Set your notifications to on for Count Your Stitches so that you're alerted when we go live. Um, and I will see you tomorrow night, all right? So have a great day tomorrow. Have a happy Saturday. And see you tomorrow night. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.